Hi, in this video, we're going to work out this indefinite integral. We have x over x squared minus 8x plus 20, and we have the dx with respect to x. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So right away, the first thing that comes to mind is to make a u substitution. If we let u be what's here on the bottom, we're going to get an x, so let's just see what happens. So let's set u equal to x squared minus 8x plus 20. And so now we can take the derivative of both sides and compute du. So this derivative here is just a power rule, so we're going to get 2x, and the derivative of minus 8x is just minus 8. The derivative of 20 is 0, so I'm going to put a parenthesis here and a dx. So we have an x up here, and here we have um, 2x minus 8. We can pull out a 2 here. Let's do that. So du is equal to 2, parentheses, x minus 4, dx. And let's go ahead and divide by 2. I have an idea. So when we do that, we get du over 2 equals, parentheses, x minus 4, dx. And so this is pretty easy to come up with. So we've got an x here. But if we had an x minus 4, things would be really, really good because we can just subtract 4 and add 4 and then maybe go from there. Um, but we've got our u. We, we're just this du over 2, which is x minus 4 dx, is not what we want it to be. So let's go ahead and do some preliminary algebra based off of this substitution and get this to work. So we have, I'm going to rewrite the original problem here, it was the integral of x over, and we have x squared minus 8x plus 20 dx. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write this by subtracting 4 and uh, adding 4 like this. This is the integral of x minus 4. And then we still have this stuff here on the bottom, x squared minus 8x plus 20 dx plus, and then over here we're just going to have 4 over, and then we still have this stuff here, x squared minus 8x plus 20 dx. We're going to have to do something else with this. Uh, I'm thinking we can complete the square, and this will be some type of arc tangent. So we'll be able to do this, and then we can do this with the substitution. So our substitution is here. du over 2 is x minus 4 dx, and u is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 20. So we can go ahead and apply that now to this first integral right away. So this is equal to, so I'm going to pull out this du over 2. I'm going to pull out the 1 half. So 1 half integral, okay, and then we have um, the x minus 4 dx. That's, that's our du over 2 up here on the top right. So I'm just going to put du over u because the bottom is just u. So this is going to be du over u. For this here, I'm going to do, let's do some work over here on the side, and we should be able to rewrite this in a nice way. We have x squared minus 8x, and then it's plus 20. So if we complete the square here, we take negative 8, divide it by 2, and square it. All right, that's going to be negative 4 squared. That's 16. So if we had x squared minus 8x plus 16, we have a perfect square trinomial little factor, it's perfect. We have a plus 20, so what we'll do is, I'm gonna put a 16 here, and then I'm gonna put a four. And so this is our perfect square trinomial. And you know this always factors, you always put a parentheses and a two, you keep the x, you keep the sign, keep the sign and divide this number by two so you get four, boom. So this is gonna be the bottom part here. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as four over and then the denominator is x minus 4 squared plus, plus 4, which I'm going to write as 2 squared. And the reason I'm doing that is there's a formula we're going to use for this one. So the formula, let me just refresh your memory, it's pretty easy. It just says if you have dx over a squared plus x squared, or x squared plus a squared, this is equal to 1 over a arc tangent of x over a uh, plus a constant of integration, which we'll call capital C. So um, you can make a substitution here. 
to get this to work. I'll do it, why not? W is equal to x minus four. DW is DX. So this is equal to, we can integrate this one, one half ln absolute value of u, that's what the formula tells us, but u was x squared minus eight x plus 20. So I'm gonna skip some steps here. And then this one, I guess I'll show the step where we make the substitution, so it just becomes four over w squared plus uh, two squared dw. So fitting this formula, a is two, uh, a is two in the formula for us, and x is w. So this is equal to one half ln absolute value x squared minus eight x plus 20. And then this four hangs out, so we get four, but it's four over two, because it's, well, I'll write it, it's four times one over a, so one over two, arctan w over two plus c. All right, so continuing, we have that this is equal to one half natural log absolute value x squared minus eight x plus 20. And then the four and the one half become a two, so you get plus two arc 10. And then you have w over two, but w, we know something about w, W was x minus four, and then it's over two, plus our constant of integration, capital C. So yeah, that's it, that's the answer. Hopefully this has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn some calculus. Good luck.